Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is my first video of 2025. I want to point out that Comfy UI as a local installation has a compromise. It is actually very easy for attackers to distribute malware to Comfy UI users. And I think that in 2025, people should be aware of the fact that this is quite easy to do. I am not saying that you should not use Comfy UI. Like with all application, there's always a risk that it's going to get compromised in some way. I will consider Comfy UI as the main stable diffusion web UI when it comes to experimenting, creativity, and trying out the latest technology out there. However, this is also the reason as to why attackers can easily distribute malware. One of the things that you will know is that Comfy UI has this manager. If you go inside it, there is the custom nodes manager. And in here, anyone can submit a project and it can be added to this list. But this is not the only place to get custom nodes. This here is GitHub. And it is a platform where people can share the code publicly to other users to download and install their custom nodes. Now, custom nodes itself is a way for people to extend the functionality of Comfy UI. One of the most common custom nodes here is this number one Comfy UI manager. Most people have it in a lot of cloud web UI. They already ship Comfy UI together with the Comfy UI package. But if we scroll down, you can see that we have some others which do not have a lot of stores. A few of them have no stores at all. And those are usually the projects which people have not tried before or they don't have a lot of exposure to the community. So when I'm saying that it's very easy for people to distribute these malwares, it is through custom nodes. Now I'd like to point out this Reddit post here. This was a long time back. It was last year, seven months ago. But if you were part of the community, you will know that if anybody installed this custom node here, it says you've been hacked. And that was actually true. It was distributing an info stealer and it is very well documented here. I'm going to leave the links in the description below. You can go ahead and read it if you have not read the post yet. And this post was also validated by the Comfy UI developers who came forward and say that yes, this Comfy UI node is actually in fact a malware and it was distributing that info stealer. However, a couple of days back, 12 days ago, we got this post where a user, a Reddit post user says that it is important to secure your Comfy UI instance. And they go ahead, it's a long post. I'm not going to read the entire post here, but they do mention one thing here that I'd like to point out. It's this line here where they again confirm that the node is an info stealer, but they also mentioned that the very popular Ultralytics library, which comes with the impact node and this impact node, if you go into the manager here, click on custom nodes manager, it is actually the first few custom nodes that you will see. So any new users, when they go into the manager, they click on install custom node, that is the pack that they are seeing there. And that was actually compromised. And uh, basically the attacker was shipping crypto miner to a lot of users. And this post go ahead to talk about potential solution on how you can secure your Comfy UI. Now, short story, they mentioned about Dockers. They also mentioned about the pros and cons of using virtual environment. And some people in the comments down below in this Reddit post also mentioned that you can use a cloud storage instead of running Comfy UI locally. Now, all of these solutions are valid. However, I come from a programming background, so I understand what is Docker, what is virtual environment, but for the average users, especially Windows users, they probably don't know about it. A lot of people don't even know how to install Python on Windows machine, and that is because Python is not built in Windows. Yes, of course, in Linux and Mac OS, we have Python built in, but when it comes to Windows, it is a third party tool that needs to be installed separately. So it is quite difficult to expect people to know what is Docker, how to use it, how to set up Comfy UI so that it works in it. But there's one thing that you can do right away. Whenever you are going into the manager and you're trying to install a custom node, just pay attention to the right side. We have stars. You can check the number of stars. If it has a lot of stars, it means that people have downloaded it. So there is less risk installing that custom node. However, if you go down the list and you find that the project has barely any stars, probably one or two, then you may want to wait a week or two, let other people try out and 
then you can go ahead and test it out yourself, especially if you're not aware on how to read this code. Now, even for me, from a programming background, if I were to go into any of this repo here, and I'm not pointing out to any anyone, I'm just using it as an example, you can see here that we have a lot of files. So I'm not going to go through and look at each file to see if there is any suspicious code in some of these files. Of course, there are people who are actually doing it and they are amazing people from the community making sure that everyone is protected. So please be aware that this is a potential threat. It is there and in 2025, you should know and be aware of this. Now, of course, the community has done their due diligence and after this custom dude was released and we found out that there was a threat, you may have noticed that when you start Comfy UI now, you will see this line here that says security scan and then done security scan. It's basically scanning the custom news to find any suspicious file, but it's not 100%, especially if it's not in the database and it's not known yet. It says here that it allows them to quickly ban nodes when the vulnerabilities are discovered, but this is when they are discovered. All right, so at launch time, let's say that particular custom node was published a minute ago and you go ahead and download it, then you are still at risk there. Also, make sure that your Windows is up to date because when you update your Windows, it's also going to update the Windows Defender, which is basically the firewall, the security system and that is built in Windows 11. You can also update your Windows Defender separately if you do not want to update Windows as a whole package. All right, so I just wanted to point out that um, in 2025, we need to be secure because there's going to be a lot of projects and uh, those projects are going to come out really fast. It's cutting edge technology and uh, we cannot expect anything less than this. There will always be some bad actors who will take advantage of ignorant people. So if you're not aware of it, hopefully now you are aware of it and uh, you can hopefully be secure. So to summarize, you can use a Docker if you know how to use it. You can also use a virtual machine. You can use cloud to run Comfy UI. But if you cannot do any of these, if you have Comfy UI locally, make sure you're not installing any suspicious custom nodes, especially if they do not have a lot of stars. The project is a recent project and there's not a lot of exposure of that project. If people are talking about this project, it's on Reddit and uh, you, you see it on social media every time, you know that uh, people tried it. And if there was anything that would go wrong with the project, it had already gone wrong. For somebody else so you can probably trust that project and install it another thing that you can do is to update your windows machine and just be aware and responsible when you are trying out new custom nodes all right so thank you for watching until the very end have a nice day take care and i will see you next time